keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make an offensive heavy five, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So first and foremost, left-handed, right-handed, doesn't really matter. Pick whatever hand you're really excited about. Um, height, we're going six, seven. The weight, it doesn't really matter what, where you put your weight at, to be honest with you. So it's really up to you. Like, you can literally drop it all the way down. Um, all you really need is just, as long as you have strength. So what you could do is just go all the way down to 215. Or if you're looking for a certain type of body shape, maybe go, you know, look like 240. The weight does not matter because it's not going to change the name or the attributes because the stuff that you need weight for, you don't really need. Right? So that's where we're at with that. Okay? Wingspan does need to be 6'8". Um, because, like, let me see. Could you go... I guess we could go, we can go 611. Let's go 611 with the wingspan. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, we gotta go, we gotta go 68 because I wanna get the 88 through ball. Okay, so we're going 68, all right? So then now let's do this. What are physicals? This is a offensive heavy um, five, which basically is a point guard, all right? So like, this is put it, call it what it is. It is a point guard. So your speed, you need 81 speed to get the speed boost on silver. The 73 acceleration, that's gonna give you a blow bias on silver. We're gonna go 65 strength, and that is going to be able to give us our fearless finisher on gold with our bronze clamps. We only need a 58 vert. We don't need anything crazy for this. And then we're gonna go ahead and max out our stamina to 99, all right? So our physicals are pretty much typical, what you would see for a primary guard build that is six, seven, and taller, okay? Now, we can't go six, eight with this because of the ball handle, just, just in case you want to know that, all right? Driving layup, we are gonna go 88 on that driving layup. Um, the basically going 88 driving layup is just going to give you all of the layup animations that you can possibly get, right? So every single layup animation you want to get, you can get. Um, to me, I feel like Luka Doncic has been really good because his teardrops are really good and his layups are pretty, really, um, are really good. Um, some people in the comment section you know, always come, oh man, LeBron James. But see, the thing about LeBron James is when he does, when he goes up and he does that little scoop, like the little scoop to go around, it gets blocked a lot. So for me, I prefer layups that don't have any type of funky animation, like layups that literally go straight to the basket. That's why like Luka Doncic, Jalen Brown are really good. Um, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head, but I know there's some other ones that I've seen. I'm like, yo, these are actually straight. So, um, just oh, of course, Giannis is really good, but you got to be 6'10 for that, all right? Um, driving dunk, we're going 65. Now, going 65 on your driving dunks basically gives you, like, really, like, that middle-tier dunk packages that are really solid. So, if you want to go 65, that's great. Of course, you can push to 75, but usually if you go 75, that means you need to have a 75 standing dunk to get Giannis dunk package. If you're not getting a 75, um standing dunk then you might just go 65 and then we're gonna go 45 on our standing dunk and that gives all those basic standing dunk animations we know how good standing dunks are this year so you want to make sure you get that all right then we're gonna go 92 on the post control right 92 on the post control um basically gives you, you know unpluck them on gold but you're gonna see all these other badges look really really well once we finish our mid-range shot but you do get drop stepper on gold which is pretty insane um and then of course post spin technician on hall of fame all right so we're going to go 93 on the mid-range, right? By going 93 in the mid-range, you get that catch-and-shoot Hall of Fame, which is really big. But you also get Comeback Kid, you get Mini Musician for those, you know, running phase, and you get Open Looks. And then on Gold, believe it or not, you get Whistle, which is very strong. Whistle is really, really good, so you can expect to get a lot of foul calls for you. Space Creator, Green Machine, Dead Eye, Blinders, all elite badges when it comes to shooting, all right? Now, I just spoke on this, and, you know, we're going 88 on our three ball. And the reason why I have to go 88 because that's how you get the name. You got to minimally, at minimum, have an 88 three ball. So, uh, we're going 88. And, I mean, it's cool. I mean, really, in reality, you only really need is an 86. But by going 88, it's perfectly fine. But, as you see, you do get limitless on bronze. And you also get agent threes on silver, which is going to be really good for the actual type of build this is. Offensive heavy. So, you should be able to shoot it, work in the post, hit threes, you know, finish at the basket, like be able to do all the little things like that. 
Um, then you want to go 81 on your free throw to get them silver free points. And again, like I said, free throw shooting is really important. Obviously, this build is not necessarily wreck material. Um, it's more. This is more so for the park. Um, if you do have this in the wreck, I do not know what position they're going to put you at. But I probably would not. Yeah, I just would keep this strictly in the park. Unless you're running with a squad and they specifically have like, you know, centers that are also taller than you that you can be playing at the small forward spot all right as a center okay so just keep that in mind all right i don't want to lead you down the path where you loading up and random wreck and then they got your six seven center running the center position all right um then we're gonna go 89 on the pass accuracy and this is basically to get the tyrese halliburton passing style it's the best passing style in the game but you also get dimer you get flow um relay passer special delivery break starter and post playmaker all on gold and then a big one here that i really like is going to be needle threader on silver to be able to get those really good animations when it comes to um people cheating in the corners and trying to play the paint and the three-point line at the same time needle threader will stun you okay um then we're gonna go 88 on the ball handle so by going to 80 on ball handle again that gives you the name so you can see if i have to go 88 but as you see, you get unpluckable, you get ankle breaker, you get all the elite dribble animations. You are six seven, so you're not get all the crazy ones, but you're also but you you are going to get some really good ones. Okay, then we're going to go 75 speed with ball, and that is going to give us obviously the blow by speed booster, hyper drive, and triple strike, all on silver respectfully. Okay, so this build will I mean like I said, there's so many positive things about what you can do with this on the offensive side. But again, like I said, I want to make sure defensively, like I do with most of my guard builds. Remember, this is because it's an offensive heavy five. This is a guard build. I want to repeat that. This is a guard build. So don't be saying like, yo, this build is, is going to get cooked in the center position. It's a guard build. If you put, if you had this build in the park and you had a lockdown in another center, you will be literally okay, right? You just got to have the right people with you to run this. Um, but we're going to go 76, remember, because you, you know, you'll be on the perimeter guarding either a two or the point. And it's set and just to be able to get those bronze badges means a lot, right? So getting the bronze clamps, you know, everything's animation based. 94 feet to get that animation of bumping them up the up the court. Ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodger, all this is good. And off ball pests. Like I said, this game is very physical. It's like you're playing football out there. I've been saying that for the longest. I just think it's a little too much. Not, you know, like a lot of like people flipping over and not being called, you know, going to the paint, going up for a dunk. Crazy foul looks like, but it's not a call. You get pushed around a lot. So it's something that you know you want to take advantage of it. And off ball pass is another one. And of course, we're going 60 on the steal to be able to get the interceptor. Obviously, you want to make sure you get those animations of making the passing lane steals and interceptor on bronze will do that for you. Okay. So this is what we have here: an offensive heavy five. And you can see offensively it can cook up. And defensively, as a guard, it does what you need. Perimeter defense and the passing lane steals. Perfectly fine. All right so now as you see right here we have the offensive heavy five all right so let me know in the comment section what you think about this build what would you change differently just keep in mind if you change anything make sure it doesn't change the name but other than that it's your favorite old head uncle Demi. i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say back to another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out